stuff, but I thought it would be fun to do a full day of eating along with the grocery haul video I just did and then show you the groceries I got from, I'm going to get from Aldi as well. So right now I am just doing a little bit of coffee. Ignore the mess over there. I'm toasting some of these. I'll go ahead and get them out. Um, I'm not working out today. I'm doing a rest day, but I still just eat these, especially I'm going to go coach the strength portion of class. So I'll go ahead and have these on the way. I do three of them. Um, they're just an easy source of carbs for me. Um, I love them when I'm training. They are a little bit addictive. I don't know why I closed that, but so be careful with them. And then also with my coffee, I'll measure out three ounces of this Califia Farms almond milk creamer. It is my favorite. And then we'll see what happens from there. I've got to hurry up and get around and get Addy up and go get ready to help go coach. Oh, I'm also filling up my big water jug with water and fresh squeezed lemon. It's been a grand total of $26 on that. So not too bad, not too bad. So now I'm gonna put all that together. I'm gonna to drink a kombucha. Um, Rowdy Mermaid is my favorite brand but it's not everywhere. I've only really found them at Sprouts. So I also get this one. It has way more sugar than I'd like, but I do like some of the other stuff in it. This is the Happy Blend. Um, so it's normal kombucha plus orange, vanilla, and L-theanine to print out like happiness. So that's a fun one. I like it and it tastes good too. And it, I guess I think it makes me happy. And so I just roll with it. So I'm gonna put this up, try and whip together my lunch real quick. I haven't even decided what I'm eating, so I'll record that when I do it. And then I've gotta get started on my calls. Yes, I know I really need to do laundry and clean, but look how cute this little sweater, please ignore the room, I'm gonna clean it. But look how cute this is. I got it from TJ Maxx for like $10 and it's so just warm and cute and fun. Probably gonna need you to hold me too and like comment and harass me if I don't clean up soon because I've been needing to and I haven't had time and it's just a hot mess in there. Two grass-fed burger patties that my awesome husband grilled for me because he rocks. So we'll just do like one minute on those. I don't need anything crazy. So now I'm just gonna cut up the meat that I just heated up. There's really no skill to it, just like breaking it up really. I'm setting it to grams and I'm going to measure out 170 grams of this. Mm. You do want to be careful on cauliflower sometimes because it can cause some bloating. So you don't want to go crazy with the amount you eat, which is why I decided to not do the whole bag. Uh, we're at 145, 159. Oh, we went to 182. I'll adjust it. My macros, I've got room for it. I'm not super worried about it. I am going to zero this out and switch it back to ounces. Really, I think grams are more accurate, but it's not so bad that I like don't do ounces. I just kind of switch back and forth depending on the food and like what it's in my fitness pal as. So there's half an ounce. And there are different cheese options out there if you like can't have dairy. I've got a lot of people that can't. Um, so there are different options out there. Just don't be afraid to try new things. Um, I was dairy free for a little while um, when Addie was little. Oh no, almost felt it. And um, honestly, I didn't feel any different. I probably It probably would do me good to be dairy free again for a little while and make sure I'm still good with it. Um, but I do have people that are having to be dairy free. So there are options out there. I played with them. I did find a little bit of extra salt and I would do like pink Himalayan sea salt to make sure it's good quality. Um, do a lot better when you don't have the dairy. Like for somebody like me that helped with the taste. Um, I did extra avocados and stuff to add to creaminess and to add more fat in my diet because I really lost fat when I had to go dairy free. So those are two tips there. Next, I am doing a half ounce of Bolt House. I really want to find a better ranch. This one is okay, but I've decided to cut back on it because it doesn't have like ingredients quite up to my standards. 
but it's got awesome macros. So, um, and then Sir Kensington's ketchup. These ingredients are great. So we're gonna roll with that. I'm, I have no worries eating this stuff. I do need to get more though. Don't start on me. Let's go this way before I make a mess. And I'm just doing a half of ounce of each. I love mixing ranch and ketchup. I'm weird like that. My husband makes fun of me, but I feel like it tastes really good. Come on. Oh my gosh. There's my fork. There we go. That should be about right. Yeah. And then I'll just mix together and eat it. It should be super good. I did eat half of this. I am just going to put, I know it's half. I'm just going to put the other half in this, put it in the fridge, and then I'll have it for later in the week or for dinner. Get out of there. put that up after I eat this beautifulness. I've still got to mix it. So I'm enjoying my bowl here. It is actually really good. So definitely a thumbs up guys. All right, it is 11.54, lunch is bad. I've got a 12 o'clock call that I've got to prep for real fast and time to get to work. So it is like 1.15. I did have an early lunch. So I think I'm gonna have an early snack. Plus I have plenty of room for it right now. Um, so I'm going to do this go macro bar. One of my clients found these. I've seen them before, but I never tried them and she like raved about how much she loved them. So I'm doing those. I'm also, I'll turn the camera around in a second, being a total like PT nerd and doing the socks in between my toes for fit health to make sure my toes are splayed right. So I've done the last two calls like that. If only my clients could see what I'm doing during the calls at the time. It's, it's interesting. I also have my little diffuser going because I noticed aller Addie's allergies were acting up a little bit. I've had a headache off and on um, and it's just like, I can tell it's like dry nose, like allergy headache, dry air and stuff. So I've got that going because we ain't got time to be sick. Since we are so close to KO, my nutrition focus um, is just fueling my body, just proper fueling. I don't want to eat so much that I gain, but definitely I'm not like, I don't want to be in a deficit this week. Some people are fine. I've competed in a deficit before and been fine, but that's not the goal for right now. So I'm just making sure I'm getting enough fuel in, but also like not overdoing it to where I'm bloated and heavy coming into Saturday. So I'm just focusing on getting that good fuel this week. I never showed what I was talking about with the toe spacing. So this is the sock thing. Yes, I know my desk is a mess right now. This is what I'm talking about. So my toes are just literally woven in here to keep them spaced apart. And this is how I've been doing my calls because I'm awesome. It helps. Like, it's, it's so important. I've had what we think was a stress fracture. Um, I like to compete with stuff. So I have to keep my body healthy. So that's what we're doing. Now I'm going to go to the bathroom and foam roll because I've got five minutes before my next call and I've already researched my stuff for her. So I've got all my calls except for one this evening done. Now I'm going to do a little snack, some mobilizing, and some core work. So I'm going to make two of these Birch Benders protein waffles. I really like these. They're a great afternoon snack for me. They also would make an okay breakfast, I guess. Um, but I like them for an afternoon snack. So I'm going to pop these in the toaster and I'll show you what I put on them. I'm going to do my stretching while I'm waiting on them to toast. All right, so they're ready. So I'll show y'all how I weigh this out and let me go grab them and grab a knife to spread it. Don't ask me why I didn't move my plate over there. I don't really know. So I'm gonna do an ounce of this Greek cream cheese. I love this stuff. Guys, those two scoops were a perfect ounce. I'm that good. So I'm going to spread it and then I'll show you how I add the others. I do find that this is the easiest way to weigh it. So I put, instead of putting the plate on the scale, 
I put the actual thing I'm weighing out on stuff like cream cheese or this organic fruit spread. I guess I could show y'all what this is. If I know where my camera is. Um, so I just put it on there, zero it out. And then my goal is to, I want to do an ounce, so I'm going to go negative an ounce, if that makes sense. And then I know I'm getting it out perfectly as well. There we are, one of my favorite afternoon snacks. So I just got my last call of the day done. It is seven o'clock. Um, I'm about to start cooking dinner, but with KO this weekend, I'm trying to eat a little more this week. My hair is kind of looking crazy. So I'm gonna log and eat this because I'm a little bit short on protein. It'll put me over on some things, but like I said, I'm trying to eat more. With where my goals are at, I'm intentionally eating over some. Whoa. Um, so like I'm eating at least my macros, if not slightly more. Um, but that's just because of my specific goals. I'm not trying to lose weight right now. I'm trying to build muscle and eat for performance. So that's why I'm intentionally going over a little bit, but I'm also kind of going by feel as well. I'm kind of just doing this weird mix of intuitive eating along with tracking. So super weird right now, but that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna eat this while I'm cooking dinner and I'll show you where my food's at for the day. out my rice and I'm browning the uh, ground beef. Then I'll add a little bit of taco seasoning, which honestly I lost. Addie may have gone. So there's a good chance Addie could have got a hold of the taco seasoning. So I need to find that. I also have, let's see if I can show this, the, uh, I cannot even think, the bell peppers soaking in some salt water to get them clean. I'll chop them up as the meat gets done, add that. And then we'll throw it all in a bowl. And I'll show you how I do all that too. So the bell peppers have been chopped. Now I've got to add them to the skillet. So honestly, I had forgot about these. And they're yelling. Um, so I went ahead and put the meat in bowls, separate them out and just put them in the microwave. I don't have it on just to keep them warm. And then I'm gonna cook these really quick. My family has lost it. It's time to make the bowl. So, excuse the like weird lens, sorry. Um, I did to give them a little more flavor, cook them in a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt and a little bit of the taco seasoning. So that should taste pretty dang good. So I've got my base of meat, rice, veggies. I'll put an ounce of rice and an ounce of boathouse uh, ranch on there and we'll be good to go. And that is the end of my full day of eating with the little bit of groceries. I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.